Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to set up and use Selenium 4 in your Mac operating system. So these are the steps that I'm going to follow. So first I'll create a Java project, then I'll download the Selenium jar files to my computer, and then I'll add those jar files to the current project that I just created. So let us go to, uh, let us do the first step, go to Eclipse and then say new Java project. And then here, just give a name to a project. Let's say here, Selenium. Uh, Selenium project. And then you can use any Java version that you want. I'm going to use Java 17, but you can switch to any other version and then just finish. So a project has been created. Here on my uh, source folder, I'll create a package and I'll name it com.neotech. Okay, and then finish. So inside the package, I'm going to create a class. And of course, you can give any name that you want to the project package and the class. And then here I'm going to give the name uh, Selenium demo. So after I created the class, then inside the class, I'm going to write some code. But of course, uh, I'm going to share the code in the description of the video below. So you don't have to worry about the code. And also I'm going to explain it in simple steps. So this is the code, right, which will open the browser and will, uh, let's say, wait there for five seconds and then close the browser. Now, of course, I cannot use WebDriver and Chrome Driver because I don't have those Selenium libraries on my computer. So what I'll need to do, I'll need to download them and use them in this project. So I'm gonna go to uh, I'm gonna go to Chrome, right, to a browser, and then I'm gonna search for uh, Selenium and don't look for Selenium Gomez, guys. Look for Selenium.dev, and then here in this website, this is the official. Uh, Selenium website, guys. And if you go to downloads here, click on downloads, and then you see that Selenium can be used with different uh, programming languages. You can use it with C Sharp, Ruby, Python, uh, JavaScript, but of course, we're going to use it with, with Java. So this is the current stable version, but of course, maybe in a couple of months, a new version will come. Still, it will be the same steps, same logic, okay? So just download the current version, and this will be downloaded on my, on my uh, computer here. So I'm going to go to my computer and I'm going to open my finder. And here on my downloads, you see that this version 4.23 has just been downloaded on my computer. This is the file, guys. I'll need to unzip it, but I can do it here. But I prefer to do it in a safe location so that I don't delete it by mistake. So that's why I'm going to copy it from here. OK, and I'm going to go to my documents, jar files. And that's where I keep my jar files that I need for my let's say Java project. So let me paste it here. And if you have Windows, you'll have to extract it and then the same for Mac, but for Mac it's easier, just double click on this one. And when you double click, the file has been, right, the zip file has been unzipped and here a folder has been created. If you want guys, you can rename the folder, but you can also leave it as it is. And you don't even need the zip file anymore because you're done with this one. So let me just move this one to trash. So now I have the jar files here, guys. Make sure you have to look here and there should be a lot of, right? And especially some Selenium jar files here and also other jar files, okay? So now what I'll need to do, I'll need to add those jar files to my, right? As external jar files to my project. So I'm gonna go to the Java project here and on my project, I'm gonna right click and then go, uh, go to build path, configure build path, and make sure that you go to the libraries tab. And here you see that you're using Java 17, but also now you need to add the external Selenium jar file. So click on class path. You see that now you can click on add external jars. Click on this one here. And now you need to add those jar files to the project. As I said, you can have them on your desktop. You can have them on your downloads anywhere, but I have them in my documents, jar files, and this is the folder, okay? So scroll down, make sure that you have all these jar files here, and then you can select all of them. Click on one of them, say Command A in Mac or Control A in Windows, and you're gonna select 81 files, okay? Just say Open. And all these jar files have been added under the class path. You see there are a lot of jar files here, and just make sure that there are also the Selenium jar files here, okay? so. If I say apply and close, you'll see here that the reference libraries have been added. So previously you had the normal Java, right? The default Java library 17 that I was using. And now I also have those reference libraries are the libraries that I added from outside the Selenium libraries, okay? 
So now if I go to my code right now, and uh, if you cannot, if it doesn't show you to import here, of course, there's a, a way. So sometimes Selenium has a bug. So just say command shift O for Mac or control shift O for Windows. Now this Selenium and Chrome driver are imported. Now you can use those on your computer. So what does this code do, right? Let me just show it to you guys. What does this code do? So it's going to open a Chrome browser. It's going to navigate to a website, in our case, to neotechacademy.com. It will wait for five seconds and then it will close the browser. Okay. So let us run the code and I see that it works. Just run the code. It opens the browser. It goes to the website that we set. It waits for five seconds and then it closes the browser. Okay. So that is the code, guys. And of course, we're going to go more into details in our classes. See you in class. Have a good one. Bye bye.